So I've been doing a lot of sketching lately, and it's been fun experimenting with different drawing tools as I try to figure out which ones I like best. So I thought I'd share some of my favorite pens, pencils, and a few other tools that I've been enjoying lately. And so hopefully if you've been thinking about getting some new sketching gear yourself, then you might find this video helpful. So first up is the Hardmouth 5340 Mechanical Clutch Lead Holder by Koti Noor. I just really like the look of this pencil. The aluminium shell gives it this really classic and solidly built feel. And I love using this pencil at the start of the design process as yeah, I just find the thicker lead frees me up and kind of encourages for looser line work. I've been using mine with these 5.6mm 4B Artist's Graphite LEDs which are nice and soft and the drop type clutch mechanism makes it pretty simple to change these. And when I need to sharpen a lead, there's this handy lead pointer which is integrated into the metal push button. Another feature I really like is the hexagonal profile of the barrel which prevents the pencil from rolling off my desk. Next up is another pencil manufactured by Koinor. This is the Versatile 2mm clutch pencil and it also has that simple but classic looking design and I think this comes from the materials and finishes used. And like the Hardmouth model, the push button can be unscrewed to use the concealed lead sharpener. I've been using mine with these refillable 2mm tubi leads which I find are great for producing a range of different line work. So, the next pencil might actually be my favourite. This is the Rotring 600. This model has a nice heavy metal hexagonal barrel with a cylindrical knurled grip. I got mine in this matte silver finish, but it's also available in the black. And it has this removable metal pocket clip and a handy eraser under the push button. So, I've been using mine with these 2mm tubi leads from Stedler and this tray dispenser comes with a pack of 12 leads. I, I don't know, I just love the feel of this pencil in my hand. I'm not sure if it's the weight or the grip, but I think this one's gonna be hard to replace. And when I need to sharpen the rotoring, I use this lead pointer tub from Stedler. Sharpening is as simple as putting the lead in and rotating it. It also has this foam insert for cleaning dust from the lead tip. There's something strangely satisfying about how sharp these leads actually can get when I'm using this. So I don't use an eraser that often, but when I do, I find myself using this one by Faber-Castell. Apparently, it erases with less dust than other ones out there. I would say it's dust-free, but yeah, there doesn't seem to be a huge pile of dust when I'm using it. And what's great about this one is that it works for both graphite and color pencil. Next up is the Pilot V High Tech Point Rollerball Pen. I'm using the 0.5mm with black ink and yeah, I find this pen weight gives me flexibility with my line work. I also have a red one which is useful for doing markups and adding notes when surveying. And the nib does provide really precise lines and I find the flow of ink seems both controlled and consistent. The ink viewer window in the barrel shows how much ink I've left, but I found the ink in my pen that has actually lasted a really long time. So yeah, these pens are very affordable, reliable, and so definitely worth checking out. So next up is this Stedler Pigment Liner Pen Set. And this set comes with 12 different pens with weights ranging in size between 0.05 to two millimeter. And I find these pens are great for their precision when I'm writing, drawing, or just doing a quick sketch. And they provide a nice smooth flow of ink and are both water and fade resistant. So all of the sketches I've been doing need to go somewhere, right? At the moment, I'm using the A5 Moleskin sketchbook, which I know is a popular choice with architects. I think the reason is that it's just really well made. Its hardcover makes it durable, so that if I've taken it outside, my drawings will be protected by the elements. The details just look good too, like the rounded corners, the elastic closure, and bookmark ribbon. The 165 gram acid-free paper works fine for both pencil and pen. And at the back, there's this handy expandable inner pocket, which is great little storage area. 
Another feature I like is that because of how the sketchbook is bound, it lies flat opening a full 180 degrees. So yeah, all of these quality materials and attention to detail, they just come together to make a really well-made sketchbook, which I'll definitely be using for my next sketching session.